Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to learn how to play Ecosystem Savannah. Now, this is a two to five player game published by Genius Games. In this game, you're going to be trying to develop your Savannah and placing different cards out there to try to score the most points in this game. Now, this is the third, I believe, game in the Ecosystem line, and in this game, it's going to have a slightly different feel to it based on the cards that you place out and their special abilities. So let's go ahead down to the table and I'm gonna show you how to play Ecosystem Savannah. All right, so this is Ecosystem Savannah. In Ecosystem Savannah, you'll get this nice big deck of cards. You get some player aids up to five here, and you're gonna get this score sheet here. To play the game, to set up, all you really need to do is you're going to hand each player out one of these player guides in here, and these are gonna show you how to score with the different animals that you can put in your tableau. And throughout the game, you're going to be creating a four by five grid for your Savannah. Now, the game is gonna be played over two rounds here and in each round you're going to deal out each player 11 cards so you'll have these 11 cards to uh, pick from and we're going to make a five six seven eight nine ten yeah all right we're going to make another set here so i can show you how the game plays 11 wait we're on here All right, so in the first round, you're going to pass clockwise. In the second round, you're going to pass counterclockwise, so to the left for the first round. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at these cards in here, and you're going to take a look at your score sheet here. And then you're going to pick one of these cards. Let's say I want the draft this time. And then you're going to pass them to the left. And that player is going to pick a card and pass these to the left. And then you're going to flip, everyone's going to flip their cards over simultaneously and be able to put them into their grid. Now, if this is the first time that you're placing an animal, you just put it anywhere. So now this is my second hand here that I'm going to take a look at. And I'm going to pick another one on here. So I could take a look and see how these different animals score for where I want to place. It is important to keep in mind the next one I have to place has to be adjacent uh, horizontally or vertically to one of my cards. So that's very important. Notice that the giraffe here, five points if it's adjacent to at least one tree. So I might wanna just get that done right out of the bat here and place this down and paste, place my cards off to the left. I'll flip that over and I can place the tree there. So now my giraffe will score five points. And we're gonna continue on until we get down to the last two cards. When we get to down to the last two cards here, uh, we are going to pick one and discard the other one. So we'll have 10 cards in our tableau. It's going to be a four by five grid. So that means that we'll have 20 cards total. So over the two rounds, placing 10 cards, we'll have our 20 cards. And you will be placing cards out in this area here uh, as the time goes by here. And one thing to keep in mind is the four by five grid. So if I have put the four across this way, I'm only going to be able to place one more and I can either place it here or here. But let's say I placed one here. Well, this means that the only way that I can place in the this column, I can't place any more here. I can only place them here because I can only go five across. Additionally, if I place this one here, I'm done. I can't go place one down here. I have my four by five grid outlined. So that's one thing to keep in uh, mind of as you play this game. So you'll have your 10 cards out. Uh, that's a little too many here. So four, eight, 10. So I have my 10 cards out. And then we'll start our second round. And with the second round, you'll get 11 cards. You're going to then pass to the right instead of the left for the whole round until you get down to the last two cards and you'll pick one and discard the other. And you'll have a four by five grid, 20 cards out. And then you're gonna go into scoring. And scoring here is gonna be what you have this player aid here for and what you need to pay attention to. It not only tells you the quantity of each of the cards that are in this deck, but it also tells you what is required for uh, gaining points. Like the watering hole here, this card here, two points for each unique adjacent animal. Or the gazelle, two points uh, if the, uh, the gazelle majority scores five or two points. Um, so the gazelle's worth two points, but the majority score is also five or two. You have the cheetah, which is three points for each gazelle in the same diagonal 
uh, flip all scoring gazelles. So the gazelles still help for scoring because there's a vulture in this game uh, or any other animal that you eat. I could show you in a minute. Uh, hyenas, uh, three points for each flipped card within two spaces. So that's another one. So these are scavengers, so you'll get points for that. So the flip cards aren't bad, uh, even though they do remove them from your tableau. Um, grasslands, uh, these ones here are set collections. So you're going to get, if you have one, you get one point. If you get two, you get uh, four points. If you get three, you get nine points. And if you have four, you get 16 points. And you get points for connected grasslands. So if you have one grassland and nothing's connected to it's worth one point so you have two connected grasslands two points three points and four points and so on um, zebra three points for each adjacent grassland lion if adjacent to a grassland four points and flip a gazelle or zebra anywhere so they don't have to be adjacent for that four points for each flipped card lower in the same column so that's what the vulture is and the tree here two points for each row and column containing at least one tree uh, the draft we went over earlier, which is five points if adjacent to at least one tree. And the elephant is six points, but negative two points for each adjacent animal except other elephants. So that's how these guys score. All right, quick uh, clarification on here. You're, all your stuff's going to score, whether it gets eaten or not on here. So keep that in mind. Also, um, gazelle scores. If you're tied for the most, they, you both get it. But if you're tied for the second um, most, no one will get it. So that's just a clarification on that one there also when you're using the scoring pad you're going to be scoring in order so you're going to be doing your water holes you're going to be doing your grasslands and your trees gazelles zebras giraffes cheetahs lions elephants hyenas and vultures so you'll notice you're going to score your uh, uh, prey first so they'll always get their score and then the predators come on after that so that's another clarification for scoring. Additionally, I wanted to point out there's also a two player game and a solo game for this. And I'll let you check that out on your own. And that is gonna be how you're gonna play Ecosystem Savannah. Thank you for watching.